ago, Bass baseball playoff run ended in the regional semifinals against WBL phone eventual state champions Defiance. This year, the Wildcats and Bulldogs square off again in the postseason, but this time it's in the district semifinals. Now, Defiance won the regular season meeting a 2-1 victory exactly one month ago. Both teams coming off shutouts in the sectional finals. Defiance 2-0 over Salina, Bath 3-0 against Van Wert. So it would be up to Shea Smitty and Andrew Renner to keep those shutout streaks alive. Bottom of the first, no score. Renner gets Braden Frederick looking a 1-2-3 first inning. Top of the second, Smitty strikes out Caden Sullivan to end the frame. Go to the bottom of the second now. Bulldogs with a two-out rally. Two on for Bryce Barton. Fly ball into the gap of right center. center. Jacob Jimenez scores. Gage Grudden will score in a wild pitch, so it's 2-0 after two. Bottom of the third, still at 2-0 lead for Defiance. A man on two outs. Jimenez, grounder, gets into center field. Frederick will score from a second on the RBI double. 3-0 Defiance in front. Next batter, Austin Taylor. Fly ball to left field. Off the wall, Jimenez will score. Back-to-back -back RBI doubles, a 4-0 lead. For defiance. Later in the inning, bases are loaded and the two out rally continues. Emilio Gonzalez fly ball. Jordan Barons can't make the diving catch. Taylor, Gruden, Borton all score. 7 0 defiance in front. More than enough for the Bulldogs pitchers. Smitty goes up four innings, strikes out three. So he has six innings left because Abe Smith shut the door. Smith went the rest of the way. 7 0 the final as Smith and Smitty combine on the shutout. Bottom of the order, really coming through offensively for the defending state champs. Well, it's warming up. <laughs> so it's it's a lot easier swinging the bats when it's uh, 70 than it is when it's 48 and the wind chills 32. So hopefully that's the case. We have some very capable hitters. I thought even on our outs today, we had some we had, we had some hard outs. Um, and uh, we really didn't use our small game much today. We didn't bump very well. We didn't get three bunts down. So there's some things that we got to do better if we want to get out of the district. But top of the order struggled today. I believe one for 11 at the plate. And, and uh, you know, still to put, score seven against a great bath team and a very good pitcher and Andrew Renner. And, uh, we, you know, I can't say enough. All of them with two outs. I think we scored all seven runs with two outs today. We, we had that big lead. Coach told me if I had any problems handing the ball over to Abram to finish this, I said, no, absolutely not. Um, Abram's a great pitcher, probably one of the best that we have, the second best we have, in my opinion, or maybe even the best at some points. He's just really great on the mound and just gets hitters out. Yeah, Shea, uh, Shea was Shea, and, and uh, I thought Bath had some really good ABs against against Shea. I thought Abe Smith was brilliant coming in there and, and just shutting the door the last three innings. Now we have them both ready for Saturday.